Hey VC, um, thought we'd try a, another recording today, a little quicker than I, I imagined, but um, I wanted to try something with my laptop. I didn't like the spatial aspects of, the, uh, of my intro video. So um, on that video, we talked a little bit about Miles Davis and some of the uh, um, post Bitches Brew albums that he made that, that I really think um, get ignored and, and uh, so if, you, if you're inclined to go over there and listen to that if you haven't yet. Um, but today I thought we'd just try going to another end of the spectrum, so to speak, which um, um, talking a little bit about kind of Paisley Underground, the, the music that that came from, but also a, a really special band that I think gets overlooked. Um, we all know, we all know Nancy Star. And uh, they had a huge hit in the 90s with Fade Into You. And uh, it's a great, great track. And uh, this is a, a really good, really good pop folk album. Um, uh, there's also a version of, um, there's a single that came out on Rough Trade that has uh, Five String Serenade, which was on that album. And it's uh, originally, it's a love song from the band Love. And uh, fantastic cover, and uh, and this is worth worth tracking down. I also think the B side has never been released anywhere else. Um, so I think those first two Mazzy Star albums are well worth your time, and uh, and I enjoy both of them. But where Mazzy Star evolved from, I think, is an interesting story and one that um, gets overlooked a little bit. Um, let's start with. Uh, eventually, David Robach and Kendra Smith uh, formed a band called Clay Allison in 1983. They released one single. Um, it's fantastic. Fell from the Sun was eventually covered by the Pale Saints. And this is a, a beautiful recording. This is also pretty tough to find. So uh, listen to it on YouTube if you can, and then uh, if you're inclined to go on the hunt for it, I've, uh, I've never seen one anywhere other than this one that I stumbled upon. Um, but it's ethereal, which, you know, it, it, that describes so many things, and I hear people use that word a lot. But in the best sense of that word, it's ethereal, female vocals, beautiful, but with an edge and a realism and a rawness that I don't think Nazi Star was ever capable of doing. So check that out. Uh, other than that single, there are some bootlegs floating around. One of them is this one, it's a live recording, which shows the band's, I think, psychedelic edge a little bit more than the folk side. Um, but it's really good. Kendra's fantastic, the vocals are great, and the recording is really good. Um, I've seen this floating around in more recent years, and it's always had just a plain white cover. Um, this was something that I think came out really limited. Um, you probably grab it on uh, Discogs. Uh, but really this is an, another example. Other than that single, you know, these recordings are the only thing that we have to show us um, Clay Allison. So Clay Allison, um, right after this, the single was released, uh, broke up, so to speak, or I should say evolved into the band that um, David Roback and, and Kendra Smith would evolve into, which was a band called Opal. And Opal was, had all the things that we say about Mazzy Star, but, but with more of an edge and, um, to me, a uh, sincerity in Kendra's vocals that um, just transcend. This album, called Happy Nightmare Baby, um, is, is much more edgy and psychedelic than where Clay Allison was coming from. And this is an amazing recording. If you like psychedelic music, and you like psychedelic music when it's mixed with folk, and when you mix it with, uh, with a rock edge to it too. Um, this is a really, really amazing recording. This is, the, whole, the whole album is good, but uh, Soul Giver and Rocket Machine, the, album, the songs that uh, open and close this 
are to me uh, really, really special and well worth tracking down. Be warned that uh, there was a CD release of this, which um, I think now goes for crazy money. The vinyl is um, difficult to find too. Um, so look for it, um, but be weary that, that these are starting to go for, uh, for silly money sometimes, uh, which is unfortunate. They, they really deserve, these really deserve a reissue. Uh, this came out on SST originally, and on tour for this record, the band broke up and evolved into Mazzy Star. And Hope was brought on board, and the sound changed. And I think the sound, while still good, um, became much more commercially viable, which is maybe exactly what they were looking for. Um, however, we were to get a little bit more from Opal. There was one more release that came out, and that was this album, Early Recordings. And Early Recordings um, is very different than Happy Nightmare Baby. It's much more folky and uh, showing off, I think, a much lighter side of the band. Probably something that would be more palatable to Mazzy Star fans. But, again, it's the difference between Kendra's vocals and Hope's. Um, to me, these songs have a beauty and a sincerity in them that um, that Mazzy Star is just not capable of, and and it's uh, one of those really rare music recordings where I think the music takes you someplace, a place that's only meant for the listener and the artist, and to me that's when a when a record can do that. That's, that's something really, really special. So this would be it. And there are some bootlegs floating around. Uh, there is a, a early recordings too, which uh, I've heard, and it sounds great. Um, it's just on a plain white you know, label, and, and uh, it's very, very raw. Um, for a band that almost seems like they really deserve kind of a whole 4AD effect, it's a, it's a shame that many of their bootlegs come out on these really... Uh, really plain, but at least they're there for us to hear, and, and I suppose that's what's most important. Um, so that's Opal, uh, and I also wanted to, um, so where did this all come from? And what we're really talking about is uh, that whole Paisley Underground sound and scene, which to me was always personified by the Dream Syndicate, who did this amazing record, which I'm sure many people are familiar with, I think it's fantastic. We talk about rock music and, um, and great things happening in the 80s, um, uh, which people sometimes tend to shy away from. This is a fantastic recording. And like I said, I think most people are probably uh, familiar with it. But um, there's a Kendra right there. And that's where she came from, the Dream Syndicate, and went on with David Roback. Now, David Roback, where did he come from? He was in an almost equally as great band, um, which is that Pays the Underground song, which was the Brain Parade, which I think is a fantastic <laughs> cover. Odd. Um, this is full of great psychedelic jangle. If you're a fan of the birds, which I am a huge fan of the birds, or uh, that early psychedelic sound, I don't see how you wouldn't absolutely eat this up. And what's so interesting about it is, um, I think there was another Rain Parade album also. Um, everything I've ever heard by them is, is good, but the first record, that one, is the one to hear, as far as I'm concerned. So there's an interesting uh, um, evolution of sound that ultimately brought us Mazzy Star. Now there's one more recording that people uh, tend to overlook in that whole scene. And there's a lot of records to investigate in there. But this is one, again, it's never gotten a reissue. And it's an easy record to like. It's called Rainy Day. 
and uh, Rainy Day was a band made up of a whole bunch of people. Mainly, it's uh, David Roback. And David brings in a bunch of his kind of fellows from that whole scene. Um, just to, to mention a few of them, Kendra Smith is on here. Um, um, uh, Suzanne Hoff is on here. You may recognize her from, uh, from, the, from the Bangles. And, um, and a whole bunch of players from that scene doing songs that you might kind of expect them to do. But it's really a, it's a delicious recording. And uh, even though we're all familiar with these songs, I'll keep it with mine. Um, uh, Snoop John B, uh, Soon Be Home, Holocaust, um, uh, On My Way Home, I'll Be Your Mirror, which has a fantastic vocal by Susanna Hoff. If, um, you know, maybe you la I, I laugh a little bit at the bangles, uh, um, not really um, my favorite band in the world, but, but uh, there's some real talent there. And I think Susanna Hoff's vocals on this prove that she's uh, earned her due. Um, again, this is a tough record to find. Never used to see it pop up fairly often, um, but you're not seeing it that much anymore. And unfortunately, this history hasn't been as kind as I like to the, the Paisley Underground movement and all, and all of that, other than the kind of like main albums. Um, but if you can find this, and there was a single released from it, I don't think the single had anything special on it. It just was, uh, I think it was, I'll keep it with mine. Um, this is a great recording. And if you can track it down, it fits in so well. It, it's good because in a sense it, it shows you where the influences were for bands like the Dream Syndicate and the Rain Parade and where that would all go. And you could still, in the end, you can still hear those influences um, in what ultimately became Mazzy Star. So anyway, that's my uh, my Opal commercial. Uh, uh, thanks for giving it a listen. Um, too difficult to find, but fantastic records that I think deserve to get a little bit more attention um, than they do. So thanks, and I hope this video looks a little different than or better than my, my last one. Thanks, VC.